kind of fun. Well, they're probably make for such a That's cool. Probably even before it fell off the batteries and she was like, got to be bad now. <laughs> sword versus sword. Yeah, got to yeah, it. Chat, yeah. sword versus sword. That's true. Fair enough. Take uh, PSU to start. I would argue this could be a very explosive matchup because both players can get a runaway with so much combo potential. I wouldn't be surprised to see if Luge kind of sticks with the Pyra because it gives uh, Luge quite a bit of space to work with and obviously huge damage potential just from one hit at a time and you can't really do huge combos against uh, Game & Watch in general because it's so hard to link or keep things frame tight enough that uh, Game & Watch can't just get the parachute out but good spacing from Luge on that down air but Lin getting the parry. This matchup definitely edge guarding is where Game & Watch is going to yeah, that be it's gonna be huge. Have to have right. to make a play, yeah. otherwise I'm just gonna get uh, outspaced. Oh, not gonna be a percent to guarantee the down air into up air though. We just been on Pyra the entire game. Yeah, I think I would honestly do the same thing. Maybe go for like very early percent, like one combo with you're from, like from Mithra. To, you're like zero to like thirty. Or yeah, 30 with then... Mithra, and then just switch after that. Because it just it feels pretty high risk to go Mithra at like higher percent. Yeah, on the side of you. But strong advantage so far from Lu uh, from Luge. <laughs> kind of just safely spacing around Lin's game and watching. Double We're gonna be able to test our theory when it comes to him Luge switching off at thirty. But actually, right as I say that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, down air to forward to doing like 30%. I don't think that move should be that good. <laughs> that move is crazy, but forward is finally going to take it for Lin there. Lin just loves that chair. Okay, I, you, it's incredibly hard to punish that move because Pyra becomes Pikachu size when you <laughs> down air and yeah. it's on the ground. And the sword becomes like a Ganon sword, right? Yeah. But going to get hit by that forward air. Lin having brought things back very quickly here, and just a few conversions. Maybe Lin's starting to adjust to some uh, Lucia's disadvantage or disengagements. Ooh, up these pass away, no fun, eh? Yeah, the double forward driven by is a very safe and honestly smart thing to do because it'll catch your opponent reacting even if they try to jump out of shield or anything like that. ID and catching oh, the, the downer platform. just maybe barely not connecting. I, actually, I don't know if these, this platform height maybe just is a little bit too high. I think when Pyra up tilts, she goes uh, too low for a Oh, she ducks a little bit? Yeah. Interesting. Okay, down here working for Lin this time around, though. Just needs, yeah, some offstage pressure. That was his jump got yeah. caught, and now he's dead. Now he'll do it. So, that's definitely where things even up is oh, if... Oh, getting a 9 ready. <laughs> All right, first time we're kind of seeing a side special from Luge, and Lin ends up catching a shield right after it. So, wouldn't be surprised to see that Luge doesn't use that side special much anymore. Oh, <laughs> goes for it though, calls the uh, calls out the dash. And very scary percents for Game Watch here. Parries the up smash into a forward tilt. Forward tilt, not connecting. Oh, and getting the yeah. down air. Good timing from Luge there. Uh, Lin even having like delayed their recovery a little bit too, but yeah. Luch still catching it. But again, both of these players are on their tournament life here on loser's side, so Lin's having to fight back. Uh, it would have to be two games here on uh, against Luge. Continue on. And I believe earning their right into, I think, loser's... Oh, wait, no. Loser's Semi. quarters? Semi. Yeah. Or is it semis? Okay. This is quarters. Oh, okay. So then after this, loser side is best of five. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My gut said this was a button check of how that neutral started. <laughs> I was like, dash oh, interesting. Back and forth, dash back and forth. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> oh. Almost getting the down air. Yeah, Lin holding down this time, kind of switching up with a high Lin recovery, but. Out yeah. with the F smash. Lin just trying to like mix things up a little bit. 
with the recovery because obviously they've been caught by that two frame before, but it's even more dangerous to hold down and go high above the, the ledge like that. I think Lynn should be a little bit more concerned with these downers because this is like that's like the second or third time he's died. Yeah, and swords can punish that, right? Like, yeah, and swords are really good at punishing that. We're just showing that he can hit the downer. Oh, kind of a lasting hitbox. Lynn didn't expect it and ends up dropping shield. Forward downer, yeah. All right, I'm smashing and that's take two, it there. two downers that uh, we should just call out with smash attack. But both stocks being taken very early. Oh, almost getting right. that stock on smash tool. Yeah. Oh, almost getting it again. Oh Another my gosh, Luigi is trying to end oh. this game as soon as possible. And that might have been di in too, which is a tough spot yeah. to be because that positioning on the stage. And but another fourth smash. Uh, uh, calling out the landing backer and gonna end the game very quickly there. Right of the first match and.